Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. And with the Monster Hunter World Iceborn Beta running both this weekend and next, I thought it'd be handy to put together some quick guides going over the new moves for each weapon, how to use them, what they do, basically everything you need to know to dive in and get started. I'll be doing one of these for each weapon, so keep it locked and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss the other videos. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated, and let me know what you'd like to see next. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the King of the Skies, Wukong's long lost brother, the Insect Glaive. Now the Insect Glaive in World got some pretty nice buffs. I've always loved this weapon from a style point of view, that and I'm a Wukong fanboy so it lets me live up my Monkey King fantasies, but that aside, Iceborne added some spicy new tech. Firstly, before we talk about moves, let's talk about the Kinsect. In World, right now, you can gather Extract using your Kinsect in a traditional manner. You gather one, call it back, send it out again, and repeat. However, in Iceborne, you can do one better. By consuming Sling Ammo, you can charge or power up your Kinsect. You do this by holding down L2 and pressing triangle and circle together, then provided you have slinger ammo, this will buff your kinsects with a particular effect. But it will also let you gather two extracts before having to call your kinsect back. So in this example, you can see I grab white and red, call it back, and I have both. Keep in mind, this also adds some genuine value to the green extract, the healing one. An extract that for a long time was never really used given its limited return, but now if you grab two, it actually restores around 75 health, which isn't bad. Additionally, when you factor in that sometimes you don't need to go for the triple buff, sometimes just grabbing, say, red and white is enough, then this essentially speeds up the gathering portion of your gameplay. But on top of that, your Kinsect also gains a buff based on the type of slinger ammo you consume. If you use ammo dropped by a monster, the offensive type, your Kinsect gets a power buff. This is denoted by a red Kinsect icon, and this will then see your Kinsect attack power increase, and it also results in the Kinsect kicking out more powder on attacks. Meanwhile, if you consume Field Slinger ammo, the stuff you collect in the world, it'll instead increase the Kinsect's maximum stamina. And when you collect all three buffs, it also extends the duration of this triple buff, which is pretty nice. But what about new moves? Well, firstly, whilst airborne, you have a Glaive Plant attack, the Descending Thrust. Pressing R2 whilst airborne will perform this downward stab, which in itself is a pretty nice move. But on top of that, it also marks the location that you stab so that your Kinsect can follow up and attack the same location. So if you were to then perform this on the head of a monster, this then could be a great way to work in some extra stun or flinch damage thanks to your Kinsect. Alternatively, whilst airborne you can press L2 to perform a mid-air claw attack. If this connects with the monster you'll then grapple on, and from there you have your usual grapple options. Similarly, whilst standing on the ground, if you hold L2 to aim and click R3 you can swap from your insect blade aiming to your clutch claw. From here you can then press circle to fire at your claw to grapple onto the monster from the ground. And then once grappled, pressing triangle will then perform your weapon specific attack. Since the insect glaive is a light weapon, it'll cause the monster to drop slinger ammo, which is handy given that you can then use this to power up your kinsect. But that my friends is pretty much it for the time being, just a few new tricks, but again as a reminder I intend to create a completely new set of in-depth weapon tutorials at launch, so for those of you wanting to know how these new moves work into the bigger picture, I'll have you covered. But until then, this should get you started this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.